That cable's just as annoying for you as it is for me. You probably want to know how to play PCBR without it. So if that's of interest to you and you want to know how, stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome back to VR Escape. So it's safe to say we're all mostly sick to death of the seven mile long cable that is being used to play your PC VR games. And you know, VR is a 360 experience so we are going to be turning around a lot. That of course means we're going to get tangled up in that cable so we need to get away from it. The good news is there is a way to escape this madness and for some of you it is going to cost a little bit of cash but honestly if you can't afford it, it is worth saving up for. So what are you going to need? Well you're going to need an Oculus Quest 1 or 2. The reason for that of course is that you can either connect it with a wire or you can use it standalone. In this case we're going to use it standalone and we're going to be streaming from the PC. That of course then means you're going to need a decent VR ready PC. These are the minimum specs on the screen. Feel free to pause if you want to have a read and here are the recommended specs. One of the things I would recommend with your PC is that when you're choosing a Wi-Fi card or reviewing one try and get one that's got Wi-Fi 6 capability. That's really going to help speed it up. And then the main thing that you're really going to need here to make this work is obviously a good router. Now you need a router that's going to be able to support 5 gigahertz. But what I do recommend again is Wi-Fi 6. I would recommend the following three routers. So the cheapest one is a TP-Link AX1500 and they're around about 65 to 70 pounds or dollars. It's got Wi-Fi 6 capability and you're going to be able to stream at about 1.5 gigabits per second when you're going over Wi-Fi 6. If you're just going over 5 gigahertz, you're probably looking at about 1.1 gigabits per second. Mid range. I'd recommend the Asus RT AX55. Again, they're about £95 dollars. Also has Wi-Fi 6 capability. And over Wi-Fi 6, you're looking at about 1.8 gigabits per second. Over 5 gigahertz, you're going to be topping out at about 1.2 gigabits per second. And for the over the top, ridiculously expensive high end, I would recommend the Netgear Orbi Mesh System. You are looking at about £450 or dollars. It's personally the one I have. I think it's fantastic. You're looking at some pretty significant specs here though. It obviously comes with Wi-Fi 6. It's got 4.2 gigabits per second over the Wi-Fi. And again, if it's only going over five gigahertz, you're only gonna max out again at 1.2 gigabits per second. Now, of course that is obviously top end. It isn't essential. Now let's move over to the Quest. Within here, go to the store and download VR Desktop. It's gonna cost you about £14.99, but remember this means no more wires and it's a very small price to pay for that luxury. On your PC, what you're gonna to need to do here is go and download Virtual Desktop Streamer. Once you've installed Virtual Desktop Streamer, make sure that you enter your Oculus Quest username. Now I've put up here my settings, but of course you don't need to take everything I have. It's completely down to your preference. Keep Virtual Desktop Streamer running on the PC, go back into the Oculus Quest and open up Virtual Desktop. You're now going to be transported into your new virtual office. Welcome. So in here, they even give you your own PC and I actually think I prefer this room to my own. If you then press your left menu button on the Oculus controller, it's going to bring up the internal menu in here, as you can see. Now this is where it gets quite interesting. As you can see, my max connection speed is 1200 megabits per second which is 1.2 gigabits per second. Now my PC is on the Wi-Fi and so is the Oculus Quest. They kind of do recommend that the PC should be wired and your Quest can stay on the Wi-Fi. This means then that the routers I recommended, the cheaper one really is actually all you need. The others are just merely future proofing. So if the maximum speed I can get and I've spent 450 pound on it is the same as the lower end, you know, you go do the math. Now in here, as you can see, all my PC games are there to select. So here I'm just going to open up Half-Life Alex. Now for me, I'm not currently going to probably see any sort of lag. It should be completely seamless, just the same as it would be if I was cabled in. So I'm in here, I'm just going to go to continue. I need to go select myself a, a point in which I want to go to. And yeah, I mean, for me, Alex is probably one of the ones to really test. You know, this is kind of one of the AAA rated games one of the top on the market and uh, personally one of my favorites. As you can see here, the detail is actually fantastic. Uh, the only thing I will say is the capture um, from the headset, which I'm actually doing directly from the Quest here, not via my PC, doesn't actually get it quite as well, but you can still see the details there, look, and it still looks pretty good. 
I'm walking around and um, yeah I'm really not noticing any differences at all to what I would expect to be getting if I was cabled in. So as you can see you really really do not need that cable at all. This game is fantastic. Still enjoy it. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below let me know which is your favorite game. So I'm also going to go here back to the menu this is within Steam and I'm going to go into Google Earth and Google Earth is quite an intensive application actually so um, I think it's probably quite a good test just to get a feel for how quickly it loads. Being that it's obviously using the internet connection which doesn't really matter Wi-Fi and internet connection two very different things and uh, yeah this one seems to be loading without any issue. There we go. Ah, Love a bit of Google Earth. This is still probably one of my favorite applications to be honest. You can pretty much just land anywhere. You're straight down to that and boom. I'm going to feel like I'm back on holiday again. Oh, who else is missing their holidays, eh? I certainly am. There you go. So you can see a little bit of... Um, unfortunately, that's the video capture. It looks a little bit blurry, but that, you know, that isn't what I was seeing in the headset. Come down here, go into a football stadium. Again, getting fantastic speeds. No blurriness at all. Completely seamless. And yeah. This is working great. So as you can see there guys, there just absolutely isn't any need for a cable anymore. And um, I think, yeah, this is now going to be my new way of playing all my PC VR games. So hopefully that was of use to you guys. And please do leave a like and a subscribe. It would be appreciated. Of course, if you didn't like the content, just leave a like anyway. See you in the next one.